please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, McDowell. I'm Sammy Dipel, and today is Thursday, October 6th, and here are your morning announcements. Anyone interested in participating in the homecoming pep assembly, please sign up by Friday in guidance. We will be having a lip sync battle. Homecoming tickets will be on sale at all three lunches on October 11th through the 14th. Tickets are $18 and you must have your ID with you to purchase a ticket. And if you are bringing a guest from another school, you must have a completed guest form with you. Guest forms are available in the main office. Attention boys and, track, boys and girls track and field athletes who are not participating in a fall sport. Strength and conditioning workouts will begin on Tuesday the 4th in the weight room at McDowell Pavilion from 5.30 to 6.45 p.m. And here are your high school announcements. Congratulations to the 2016 homecoming court. Jenna Bone, Sylvia Grack, Emily Hamilton, Gretchen Holgreffi, Madeline Johnson, Tatum Kakuda, Levi Becker, Ross Fagan, Jack Mannion, Wolfgang Mueller, Trevor Simpson, Simpson, and Dean Swanson. Reminder that after school work and test makeup is, on, is held on Wednesdays in room 225. Teachers are asked to have clearly labeled work or test in Mr. Hodgson's mailbox by noon. Attention all students who are involved with this year's crop hunger walk. All money and forms need to be returned to Mr. Schmidt in room 115 by this Friday. Even blank forms need to be returned. Also, a representative from Cedarville University and State University of New York Cobleskill campus will be here on Friday. Please stop in gu to guidance for a pass if you are interested in attending this visit and to review our current college visit calendar and scholarship information. Attention interested students. Only seven seats remain for the Holocaust Museum trip. See Mr. Hederni or Mr. Andrzak or the MIHS office for sign up. Attention students traveling to DC on Friday, October 7th. A reminder that you must attend that you must have attended the meeting yesterday in the senior high. Information folders and t-shirts would have been distributed. Starting October 6th, if a student owes more than $10, whether he or she is free lunch, reduced lunch, or full pay, and they want to purchase a lunch, they may continue to charge if needed, but the main entree will be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Attention interested skiers and snowboarders. After school every Thursday, the bus will pick us up and bring us back to McDowell by 9.45 p.m. See Mr. Hayes in the boys' PE office. Bus space is limited to the first 55 skiers who sign up. And here are some sports announcements. Our boys' McDowell soccer team beat Grove City 4-1. McDowell goals were scored by Colin Michaels, Trent May, and Connor Huffman. Also, the McDowell girls' soccer team takes on Bill at the Cathedral Prep Event Center. Come out and support the Lady Trojans. Anyone interested in wrestling this year needs to meet today during tutorial in the large group instruction room for a brief meeting with Coach Milanak. The girls' soccer a team's annual Kicking for a Cure game will be held this Saturday at 1 o'clock against Fairview. T-shirts will be sold during lunch from Mr. Kaufman's room, room 208. Purchase of a t-shirt will get you into the game and all profits go to support the American Cancer Society. Quantities are limited, so buy your shirt to help kick cancer today. Also a reminder, the Athlete of the Week on Twitter poll ends this morning. Now over to Josh with the weather. Thank you, Sammy. And looking at the end of our week, we're looking at some pretty nice weather with today's uh, uh, at high of 75 and a low of 58 with some sunny weather. Also tomorrow, a high of 77 with a low of 57. And on Saturday, a high of 76 with a low of 60 with some very sunny weather. Now I'm going to pass you over to Dr. Kavanaugh with the principal's desk. Good morning, MIHS. I just have one quick announcement today. This information has been shared recently through email with the teachers, but I want to inform the students about a change that's going to take place next week during tutorial. Starting next Tuesday during tutorial, students will not be able to use the library unless they have a pre-signed pass from a content area teacher, then take that pass to Mrs. Bola the following morning to get a pass to the library. The library is intended for research use only. It is not for social time. It is not for a meeting place. So if you do not have library work, you will not be going to the library during tutorial time. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to stop me in the hallway and I will address them with you. I hope all is well. This is Dr. Kavanaugh signing off, saying have a great day.